This math talk introduces the concept of an exponent, and it begins with the question, how many ancestors did you have 10 generations ago? And to help us visualize this, we'll draw a diagram. And the circle represents an individual. We could say me, for example. And if I were to go back just one generation from where I currently am, I'd be talking about, well, my mother and father, my two parents. And so going back just a single generation, the answer to the question is very simple. I have two ancestors. Now, we're trying to go a little further than that, so let's consider the next generation, stepping back further. Well, all we have to really think about is the fact that both my mother and my father had two parents. And when I say parents, I'm talking about biological parents. And so each of them each had a biological mother and father. And so there's a doubling effect. So in the second generation, I have my two parents times the two parents that they each had. Uh, so effectively, I have four ancestors in that second generation. Well, once again, by the way, those are my grandparents. I, I'm sure you all have that figured out. If we were to go back to a third generation, we'd be talking about my great-grandparents. Well, each of my grandparents, each of my four grandparents, each had a set of parents as well, a mother and father. And so it looks something like this. And so going back three generations, we double that amount again. So 2 times 2 times 2, which works out to 8. Well, in mathematics, we regularly come up with situations that involve repeated multiplications. They come up in population growth, like we're sort of discussing here, although it's not really a growth. We're looking back. Um, but it works with uh, growing investments. Uh, it also works with shrinking uh, values like um, the value of a vehicle as it de depreciates or the presence of a nuclear isotope as it decays. Um, we, we will take a number and multiply it by itself over and over and over again. Well, because sometimes the number of times we multiply these numbers together gets really large, like in this example, we're talking about going back 10 generations, we want to have some sort of shorthand so we don't have to write all those multiplications out. So for example, in the in this situation to this point, we've got in the third generation 2 times 2 times 2 ancestors. Well, to write that in a more compact compact fashion, we write a 2, which is the number that's been multiplied over and over and over again, with a 3, a number that we refer to as an exponent. Exponent. And we say that to do this calculation, you perform 2 to the exponent 3. And we can't forget that that's not 2 times 3. That's 2 times 2 times 2. In other words, 2 times itself 3 times. So in the third generation, we had to multiply 2 with itself 3 times. Well, if we take a look back at the second generation, it was 2 with itself twice, and in the first generation, 2 with itself once. So it seems reasonable to say that if we want to go back 10 generations, we would have to calculate 2 raised to the exponent 10. And once again, that's not 2 times 10, but that's 2 multiplied with itself 10 times. Now, you may be curious what that number is. That number is actually quite large. It's 1,024. So just as a sort of a trivial side note, if you thought about it, each generation being about 25 to 30 years, 10 generations would amount to about 250 to 300 years. So you only have to go back to about the 18th century, the 18th century, and you have 1,024 ancestors. That's 1,024 people starting to have children, passing on their DNA to finally result in you. And that's all the time I have.